Well, we're tracking a controversial measure that could eventually affect every American who owns a car. Beginning in 2015, it will require all new cars to be fitted with a black box data recorder, much like the devices that are in airplanes right now. So what does this mean for your civil liberties? We wanted to ask our senior senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano, who gets to be face-to-face -to -face today, not in another what studio. What a pleasure to be here with nice you, to have you with instead of down judge. in the basement. <laughs> we decided to upgrade you. <laughs> Thank you. Just for today. I, we'll, I hope I am worthy of it. We'll see how it goes, Judge. All right. <laughs> so if black boxes are in planes... What's the big deal about having them in cars? Well, it's very interesting that the Congress would try to do this because the police in the District of Columbia and Maryland did this not too long ago where they put GPS devices on people's cars without search warrants and the Supreme Court invalidated it, saying it's an unlawful search, that quite frankly it's none of the government's business where the car is going and if the police want to know where the car is going, there has to be some evidence of criminality and they have to get a search warrant. Now the Supreme Court didn't make this up out of thin air, it's in the Constitution. The police just can't investigate whoever they want on a whim or follow whoever they want because they like following the person. There has to be some evidence of wrongdoing doing on the part of the person they're following. Well, as we understand the legislation, it, it, it was a part of a transportation bill that is not part of the House bill, and it gets too much in the weeds to really go into it, other than it has been a proposal that has made its way in some yes. way through Congress. But one of the parts of the legislation would be that it's my property. So if I own the car, I own the black box. So it's my property. It's not the police. But the police would be able to uh, obtain the information inside the property using electronic means. Now, question, can the police aim a beam at your car and extract information from it? Can they aim a beam at your house and extract information from it? The Supreme Court ruled on that last year, and it said no. So this legislation flies in the face of what the Supreme Court has just ruled to protect our privacy. Now, the legislation has not yet been signed by the Correct. president. It isn't even, as you say, in final form yet. But the American public should be aware of what the government is trying to do to our privacy. It's interesting. It came up post what happened with that, the Toyota incident where people were thinking that their brakes were getting stuck in their Toyotas. And so that's where this thinking of the black boxes and cars Let me tell you one up. good thing about this, even though I oppose it uh, staunchly. It will demonstrate how fast you were going. So if the police say you were going 45 in a 35 and the, and the box says you were going 35, you win that case. Interesting. So, okay, we'll see. It's not, again, as you pointed out, not in final form. Let's move on to this other uh, topic, a city in Texas, Fort Worth, saying that they're going to make it impossible for you to hire a city worker that smokes. They would, they would ban you, if you were a smoker, from being hired by the city because they say it has to do with what's cost effective, meaning that it would cost more to the city if you're a smoker for a variety of different reasons. Is that even legal? No, that is not lawful. Uh, it has been tried several times before and the courts have interfered with it because basically it's an intrusion into a person's private behavior using a product that is lawful. We're not talking about drugs that are against the law, like marijuana or cocaine. We're talking about tobacco, which is, of course, a huge product in this country, which the government, including this city, receives a tremendous amount of revenue as a result of the taxes imposed on it. Look, I don't like smoking, and I know sometimes smokers, we all know them, have an odor about uh, their bodies, but this is private behavior in, in a non-work environment. It's not the government's I concern. have to run, but we just did a story last week about a hospital in Texas that's not hiring people, but if they're overweight. Aye, aye, is that aye. different? Aye, what, what, what more nanny state are we going to get now? Look, the only way weight can come into the decision to hire is if it's a bona fide occupational qualification. If the, if the heavy person, the person the hospital says is heavy, can do the job of a thin person, they can't not hire them because they're right. heavy. All right, we're going to continue to watch all this nanny. You got your plate full. My of hands are full, Jenna. Stuff. Judge, nice to have you in person. Pleasure to be here. Really a pleasure. Does Ricky know how lucky he is getting